just go. Missed you so much. Oh my god, I've missed you. How long has it been? It's been it's been a minute. Because I was literally thinking it's been ridiculous because this is nice, isn't it? Well, you know what I was thinking? I haven't seen you. Look, my last time I saw you, my legs were hairy, and then I just waxed them again this morning. Wow, your hair is long. I know, frizzy and horrible. I need to cut it off, no, chop I it off. I love it. I know, babe, I but look, I think it's all dead. Like, I think actually that is dead. Yeah, but I do like the long hair vibe. I know, but I think you have to well, I think um, you need to, like, be patient. Put, like, a mask every day. Do you think? Yeah, babe. You can, you can Who's cure Who's got that. the time? Well, Why is your her, skin so sure. good? I, isn't it? Oh, my isn't God. It? Oh, my God. It's, like, changed my life. It's changed my life. I've been taking my new dosage of my meds, and it's really changed my life. I feel so joyful. What, and they've been fine? No, because loads of people get a bit sad on them, don't they? No, no, it's not, it's not the sad meds. Oh, different. Not the sad okay, meds. Good. not the Duh. sad meds. But Tell me meds. everything. Thing. Well, I think we should start with Philip Schofield. Bloody hell! So many people messaged me. You like, called it. They were like, "You were the you were the whistleblowers." And I was <laughs> like, oh my god, is there legal ramifications for that? I mean, the thing is, like, when you work in telly, everyone knew and exactly. everyone knows. But this so, like, is everyone's the thing. talking about it and all the time. And this is the thing that I find really stupid. I'm like, oh yeah, Holly didn't know. If we knew. If we knew. I mean, fair play to him for protecting her or trying to. Well, apparently the BBC want to scoop her up. Oh, very interesting. I, think, I honestly don't think she'll last that long. I think that her popularity has gone through the floor. I missed you oh so much. Oh my God, your wrists are so small. They've got smaller. <laughs> Haven't been with me. Yeah, haven't been having your weekly no, no, you, no, you, 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 you've been. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you have. You got not used to seeing them. Yes, now, true. Now, watch the... We'll start from the very beginning. See. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. I did when see you before really Chelsea, didn't begin. I? Just before I went. Just before, babe. Okay, it was mega. No, I'm a bit burnt all over. You're Do you know what's happened? I've dyed my hair ginger, my skin's gone with it. Don't know what's happened. Come on, babe, what's happened there? Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, you went to Bruges! Boiling. So, so I saw that you bought a dress. <laughs> Oh my God, this no. is so classic her as well. <laughs> she bought a dress. I saw your TikTok being like, I had to find this stupid dress for Chelsea Flower Show. Every photo on her Instagram now. No, it was but that's so, so bad. I was so embarrassed because I didn't pack anything else. I packed so badly for Bruges because I was yeah, just I doing a million hundred things. I was freezing the first day, then boiling the next day. It was oh, a nightmare. Really rude, we went for the nicest meal. Oh, Bruges is so beautiful. My, oh yeah, it's lovely. I have been before. Chocolate beer and chips. Right, let's talk about Chelsea Flower Show. It was so good. Good. This is what I learned. Number one, rich people are mad. <laughs> they are mad. Babe, have you only just got that? I didn't. Let's I've never been room. around. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, will you stop? I did da, not. Da, da, no. Da, da. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. I no. Know. Oh my god, I don't know if I've got enough SPF on for this. Because Chloe Kardashian's made us all a bit scared, has she not? I know. That's yeah, serious. But do you have a lump on your face? No. A lump on my neck, and they won't look at it because it's serious? small. I've shown you this before, haven't I? No. Because it's like a pea, and it needs to be a marble when no. you get it. Oh I know. Oh my god, yeah. babe. <laughs> Oh. I've been to the doctors and they're just like, it needs to be well, a marble. Well done for spotting that, I wouldn't have noticed you that. You can't not. Okay, so rich people are mad. Rich Sorry. people are just mad in their yeah, masses. Babe, I've never I been know. around so many of them. <laughs> I mean, the gala day was fascinating. That was the first press day? Yes. Did you see Everyone. Kate? Did you see Kate Mitt? I Kate didn't Mitt? see Kate Mitt. I obviously saw Charlie Boy, had to do a little curtsy to him. Oh yeah. Sorry about me. <gasps> didn't really know what to do. I didn't really know how to curtsy, so I just kind of like bowed. Oh, weirdly. his finger's really Cumberland's. Just so big. Cumberland's, yeah. Does everyone know about that? Yeah, he's got sausage. That's like the, the meme. biggest sausage. The meme of the century. <laughs> anyway, I saw everyone. <laughs> <Sorry>. Gemma Collins, <laughs> Bruno Tonioli, Nick oh, Grimshaw. Nick Grimshaw. Grimshaw. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gemma. She was hilarious. So she was walking around. It's a really weird press day because no public are allowed in. So it's just a bit like a zoo. Like it's just famouses, just all walking around and then press. It was really fun. Was it really fun? Live telly is where I belong. The rush of it. Do you yeah, know no, live TV, I think we would excel. Oh, excel. Because it's like the, the, the adrenaline. adrenaline and the rush of it. Yeah. The think on your tippy toes. You're like so pumped up on adrenaline that it's like you're the, the better version of yourself. Yeah. The gardens were impeccable. I know, aren't they? Aren't they not? I'm sorry, no, one no, day no. I pray. That alfresco dining, no, no, I, that no, seemed no, no, to be no, the trend no, 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 this year. 
Oh, do you know? So I think you get a bronze, silver, gold. So they all get graded, the gardens. Every single one. This one garden didn't get a gold because the chairs on the gorgeous oak table didn't tuck underneath. Seriously? They hit the table edge. That's the detail. <sighs> People How mad. too much time, honestly. I'm sorry. Like, I understand that it's amazing. But when you think about it, are you not like, well, actually, I would like to be able to tuck under the table. That does make sense. Why have you not thought that of that? That is true, actually. When you pull up and you're just like, just too far from the Oh, place, and then you're like a bit and like... And it's like on your lap. And you're trying to... Yeah, and you've true. got to have a wide elbow gate and then oh, you're knocking elbow, everyone. Very good. Exactly. So I thought, well, makes sense. Interesting. Interesting. Babe, well done. Well done! Sorry, also, can we talk about the producers of Britain's Got Talent? I that haven't actually been watching and I love babe, it. I've watched a few of the... Sobbed. Oh, I know. The auditions. I that know. That show's been on telly for about 10, 12 years and they're still, they're still finding these people. But the thing is, I guess they must watch it in the edit room and all cry and then they're like, yeah, yeah that's Yeah, that's it. the one. Maybe we should go on Britain's Got Talent. What would, what? Be, our, what would be our talent? What would we do? What would we do? How many swear words can you say in three <laughs> minutes? Go. How many stereotypes can you tick off in 30 seconds? Oh yeah, we'd be good at that. For sure. We could do our accents. Oh good. We've been practicing. We could do a stand-up. Um, oh. Would you ever do stand-up? You know, I actually once got told I'd be good at stand-up. I don't know why they said that to me. I think I'd be terrible at it. I, I think, don't think you'd be terrible. But I think I think I'm... scared. I think I think I'm funnier <laughs> than I am. Like, what I say... <laughs> But also, you do you know what you'd be really good at? What? You'd be really good. Really good. At emceeing a comedy night. It's, I honestly was going to take them off and then I thought, no, let's annoy her. <gasps> what? What is that? I went to a wedding like this. Basically, I went to a wedding. How was it? Epic. Smashed again. Oh my gosh, look at all my bruises on my arm. <laughs> Can you see? And they go all the way up and round. Babe, I don't really know what I did. Gorgeous. Did I? Yeah, amazing. I had the biggest That's stress because really... my skin has been so bad. No, actually, really? Yeah, here. I've got this weird. Apparently, it's like hormonal. It's not even spots. It's just like polycystic. This... That is classic polycystic. Classic peacock. This, no, because this area yeah. is the hormonal area. Yeah. Anyway, I basically did a face mask in the morning. You looked amazing. Thanks. No, no, there was one photo and I thought, actually, that's really annoying. How good she looks <laughs> oh my god can i tell you what you're gonna please love? tell me i'd love to know what i'm gonna love so you say i'm always really photogenic are yeah. you ready to see my dig me pictures you're gonna <laughs> oh, throw yes. up you're gonna be sick this picture and i put thought, me honestly, honestly to bed and never wake me go up go away you're so annoying you look I know, and so I'm such good because em looks so smashed in that picture but i knew i looked good so i had to just use it <laughs> i would do it sounds like not a you problem you know yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Babe. Okay, I'll show you the second runner up that isn't going Sorry. on. Like, wait, I, if I'm you... actually feeling really confident, I'll show you the really bad that one. That's actually I... a real shitter because there's no going back. No, no. Um, sorry, that was a swear word. So, where's the swear word? Oh, God. That's actually the first one. Well done. Because I've been listening. Well done. That's the Sharpie. So, we're all just communal. Yeah, now. we're just communal. Okay. Show me. You are going to die. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Number one. I'm just going to zoom in. <laughs> no, babe, that's fake. We're getting worse. Is fake. This is one of the better ones. <laughs> Look. Also carrying six months child. Good. Right, next. Yes. This one actually might make Where me sick. Where have these been taken? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you ready for the mess? I thought they'd be like. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, you'll love this one. This actually, no, baby, that is this is brave to show you this because I don't even want my mum to see this. <laughs> Ready for the one they're going for? Best you, of a bad bunch. Did you get to pick? No. You didn't get to pick the one you wanted? I had to kind of say Babe, like... Why are you, you look like you're about to hype. That's what they're choosing. That's going on the website. No, 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 babe, no. For people to no, book in. No, you can't do that. No, no, what am I meant to do? Tell them to pick another one. That is honestly... Babe, there isn't another one. When I say <laughs> the, the ones you've one, just seen... This one is better. The one where you're cradling your child. That's better. Are you mad? No, babe, that's awful. I'm sorry. You can't do that to yourself. No, I know. Question. Why does it look like you're hiking up a mountain? Because basically, I didn't really know... It should be on a bike. I know, that no, no. Is way better. No, but when you look at everyone else's, it's all outside. It's made every feature <laughs> no, I have... So was. It's given me tiny little bug eyes. Who is that photographer? Get him sat. A meter wide, like. <gasps> no. I look unwell. No, no, no. Oh. You would not say, oh, get her on a bike teaching me how to spin. <laughs> no, babe. I've stolen this from um, Vogue and Joanne. So you think you've got a big mouth, right? Okay. 
Is that real? <laughs> oh my gosh. She must be missing no, some muscles get, or something. I think she could get two Big Macs in there at one time, one on top of another. Yeah, can we talk about, um, I don't wow. actually even know if we can talk about it. About Thingy. Yeah. It's not our story to tell. Right, okay. If you found out a story, which you kind of think, <laughs> it's... <laughs> That's fake. That is fake. <laughs> Sorry, are we driving to Gales? Because I'm actually parched. Oh, I could get a Gales. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, great. Okay, here's the scenario. If you oh, heard some gossip, bad. it is gossip, right? But it's kind of come from sources that they're are not, reliable. They're, it's coming from people who were present at the time yes. of the event. And unfolding. listen, no smoke without a fire is all I'm saying. So even if the story that and is being also, spread... And also, we heard this separately, separately from completely other, different yeah. sources yeah. and heard basically the same story. Yeah. So would you... But it's about famous people, so we don't know them. We have no, like, loyalties. They're not our friends. No, no, they're not our friends. Not but our friends. we love them. It's like a protection thing because someone's been done wrong. But I'm like, do you message her? It's not for us to message, babe. I know, but who is it? The people like the sister. Yeah, Actually. yeah, that's true. She should do it. It's she so bad because you know, so many people say, with adultery in particular, everyone knew but me. That's and so, that is that horrible. Is so like true. that's almost the worst. Okay, it's not the worst. The worst is you know, you're lying, cheating, oh, God, husband. That's true. But everyone that is knowing true. and everyone you not knowing. Lied to you. That's so. And true. everyone looks you in the or doesn't look you in the face, but they don't not tell you. That's like you've true. never looked them in the face and asked them. So they haven't lied to you. No, but they've but they're not really telling withheld you. the information. Yeah. That's bad. I hate it. So oh. here's the situation. Someone is married with young kids. That makes it so much worse because it's like I agree. actually even if you were to tell. I'm sorry. I think. It's disgusting. You're not only like telling her, you're like asking her to make a decision based on her kids' lives. Do you know what I mean? Some, yeah. What would you do? If it was me with, and I was with, her. With young kids and you and you found out. Basically, he cheated on his wife. I think it would depend. Like one mistake is one thing. I think it's so hard to make that decision and I don't have kids, so I don't know, but I do know a lot of people that stay. I agree. For their kids. I agree. Think also, if you can function with them and you're not manifesting like a hateful environment, and you can just square it away as well. Yeah, but can then you? I, exactly. I don't know if I could, but I, I think know. if you can, then I get why you stay. Give us a minute. Goodness. Goodness. What do you want me to do, babe? Look My at that dog. My language almost came. Oh, very cute. Very cute. I have got bad road rage, me I've decided. Too. Like, oh, it makes God. me so cross being in the car. Oh. So anyway, not our story to tell, but horrible. Um, and I hope it comes but out, But if it actually. was your friend, let's say it happened touch wood, pray to God this never happens. Let's say that happened to Holly. Yeah. And Holly was the person that was left at home, got cheated on, everyone knew. Yeah. But you know it would like destroy their family, what would you do? Because I actually don't, I honestly can't, I don't, so, obviously, it goes without saying that the right thing to do is to say, but it honestly, like, knowing that you're going to tell them something that is going to destroy yeah. their entire life, I don't know if I could do that. I kind of know, if it was Holly as an example, I know she wouldn't want to know. <laughs> Really? I think she'd be like, what does it change? What song is this? It's shite, actually. It's what? Sorry. Oh dear. oh dear. Oh dear. We haven't been together in a while, have we? Swear to <sighs> for you. Mm. Mm. So Holly would want to know. Because I just think, like, what does it change? Like, she would think, the outcome's going to be that I'm going to stay. It was one night, it's not an affair, that's very different. If it was an affair, I'd tell her straight away and I found out about an affair. The only other thing you can do is speak to the person in question. Oh, that's what I would and do. And look them in the eye him and, and say, what say, are you going to do about this mess? You are a disgusting piece of scum. <laughs> yeah, good. good no, enough. you are. Yeah. I honestly, yeah. Like, for me, cheating is one thing. Cheating on your young children. Like, yeah, because that just, is what you're like, doing. I know. It's disgusting. It is so disgusting. Would you tell me? I would tell you. Yeah, as a disclaimer, I I'd want to know. I don't I care. Tell you. I would want to know. I want to know. Of course I'd tell you. Babe, you just did a red carpet. Tell us all. What's, What's the film? Chevalier. Oh my God, this story is amazing. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing story. Chevalier. About this guy called Jean Georges Jacques or something. He was French. Gorgeous. He basically has been written out of history. And who is he? His contemporaries are like Beethoven and Mozart. He, oh, I have seen the trailer to this. He was a composer. He was like an incredibly talented violinist who came, Why was he written out of history? Because he was black and he basically turned on the establishment. Ray, and good cast. Good cast. And the guy, the guy, 
was really flirting with me. Calvin, the main guy, Calvin Harris. Yes. Calvin Harris? No, not Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, Calvin Harris is a dodgy casting for a black composer. Calvin, Harris. Calvin, Calvin. Harris. Calvin. Harris Jr. And then Calvin he... Harrison Jr. Harrison, sorry. Calvin God. Harris. I, wait, I... wait, wait, I know him. Gosh, he's fit, Al. No, he's so... But Rule was with me. No, Rule! Because he came to do my BTS stuff. Oh my god. And were you like, this is just the little boy that does my um, filming. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> no, tell me your name again. You know what's so funny is that he brought... So here's the barrier. And I'm here's Calvin, dead. And Raw was like probably two paces back. Two and he's steps taking back pics. Me, taking pics, whatever, with the cameraman. So he, it's him and the cameraman. Sure. But he can't hear what I'm saying. He didn't have cams. He can't hear it. Good. So he got the body language, surely. He was flirting. really flirting. And the girl next to me was like, oh my god. I was like, to be fair, I would, but that's my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, did you get his number? B, we were on a red carpet, of course not. Although I think if I slid into it. I DS, love that the red carpet is the cop block there, not your I boyfriend. <laughs> Good. <laughs> He's I, I, sexy man. God, is he getting more good looking as I scroll through? He's so fit in real life. He dyed his hair blue as goodness well. Goodness gracious. Oh, I'm into so he's proper rising star then, is he? This proper, is his kind of like yeah, coming yeah, yeah. up. Wow. No, my question that I was asking people was what's your party trick? Because it was about this man having an amazing skill and being a big show off. Sure, so I was okay, like, do you, have, do you have a hidden skill that you're like, that you like show off? What, do you have a party trick? And he was like, I can read people. He's American. I can read people's minds. And I was like, oh, really? What am I thinking? He was like, wouldn't you like to know? I was like, he was like, I'm not going to say it because I don't think it's appropriate. But yeah, I can read people's minds. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're I so would sexy. be. Do you know how lucky you are with your complexion? I would honestly be this <laughs> colour. <laughs> if someone said that to me, I would be Why? bright red. What's and I'd be like, yeah, I am yeah. thinking about the size of your willy. So that is embarrassing. You just he read my so mind. He is so sexy. He is so sexy. Um, Did Raw say anything? No, he couldn't hear. I know, but there's vibes. Did Raw, he not get vibes? Honestly, Raw honestly they, didn't know what day of the week He could get was. his dick out. Sorry, that's probably a word. That no, I, I think that's fine. Like, Penis. Kelvin Harrison could get his dick out and Raw would be like, Cool. Honestly, can, couldn't care less. I actually said to him the other Well, day, he could care less if you went, I'm running away to America with Calvin no, Harris. He'd be like, I'll sell it to the Daily Mail. Like, Cash no, no. it, that's 10 grand. He'd I say, think... you're the love of my life and I can't lose you. you know God, just go. Also, like, in that environment, like... Like, I think also Raw's quite aware of the fact that as a girl... A flirting like, happens. Yeah, in that yeah. industry, you got, that's it's quite normal. Yeah, it's under normal. no false illusions. Also, sometimes it's hard, isn't it? But you kind of have to do quite a lot of schmoozing as part of your job. And your whole job there is to make them answer the question Absolutely. well, and that sometimes takes a bit of like tickle the ego. Lucy Boynton, so lovely. Is she still with Rami Malek? Well, I think so, but and I was hoping he was going to be there because I honestly am obsessed with Rami Malek. Okay. Sorry, no. Actually, what I wanted to tell you was like, I was trying to wax my legs this morning. So you do, do them yourself? Duh. You look good. And um. Sweet. And I know. And um, I ran out of wax strips because two weeks ago I waxed Rory's back. Like, it was honestly the funniest. I, I wish I should have filmed it. Oh my gosh, it. you've started now, you can't stop. It was like, we all remember that first wax, the, the first one, and it's like, Foosh! and you're like, he was like bleeding. <laughs> His whole bag. His whole bag. So where did you stop? The bum? Like, has he got a hairy no, bum? No, no, it's like halfway. I don't know why. All of a sudden, he's got very old man back hair. It's really, it's not he's sexy. He's worrying about Calvin it. Calvin Harrison, bet you he doesn't have back hair. He's not worrying about it, but he was like, when I go, like, I'm going to be like topless. I'm like, where are you going to be topless? Holiday. In a month. Well, you've like, got to start no, now. No, I know, I know, I know. And it's already grown back two weeks. Oh, no. No, no, babe. It was, so, it was honestly hysterical because he thought it would just be like, he was like, oh, you're just such a baby. And I was like, honestly. It does her. And I get that on my nunny every month. And bum. Bleeding every... You get it on your bum? Yeah, I get my bum waxed. Oh, inside. My bum hole. My yeah. bum hole, yeah, of course. Not, not my bum not cheek. My bum <laughs> Although, maybe I could do that. Okay, let's go get a coffee. Okay. You know how I always love to tell you about TV programs? It's, it's the good. ultimatum. What's the ultimatum? Okay. What? The, honestly, the, sh the stuff... God, this coffee is outstanding. So good. And I love that they've upped their sizes because that was problematic. They must have had complaints. I think I'd like another one of them. Why are they so good? So good. What are they made out of? What is a sabla? Got this thing now where I seem to sweat. Under Marathon my, the sab. Under my... Right, reaction. tell me about Ultimatum. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh. The oh first series gosh. I didn't watch. What is it about? The second series is the Ultimatum Queer. It's all lesbian couples. Oh, good! The girls give the good stuff. 
this driving is so wild. <laughs> just no hands to move the Do you know wheel. people comment on our videos all the time, like watching her drive gives me hardcore anxiety? Yeah. No. Awful. Well, I'm so you're a couple, you go together, be like you and Raw, you go and basically one of you has given the other one an ultimatum and you said, I want to Oh, I know this show! I know this show! Babe, know. it's so good. Like, what are you doing it's tonight? Complete. You could watch four episodes. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not real life. You don't get an ultimatum like that. What's the ultimatum? So give me you an do. example. You do. Give me an example. We either get married or we break up. Yeah, everyone gives that ultimatum eventually. That's what marriage is. Marriage is an ultimatum. Eventually, you get to the age where you go, do we break up or do we get married? That is life. That is life. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. I'll accept that. Mm. So anyway, you go. You have to break up straight away. You're literally like, bye, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Then you start dating the other people. In the show. In the show. Iconic. They're all couples, right? Who have done exactly the same as you. All couples. All. So one of them wants to get married. And loads of the time, it's Maybe like... Maybe you could go on. I know. <laughs> Lots of the time now, it's like, do we have enough financial stability? Like, it's not... All I don't know I don't believe in one, marriage. Yeah, okay, or I don't believe in yeah, marriage yeah. or like do you know what I mean anyway then you have to pick another person to couple up with for three weeks you have a trial wife yeah not your actual girlfriend no a different one that why that's okay fine I'm, I'm following why I don't know I, think I don't know the logic in, I, I love it floor in the script but okay. no 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 but this is where the revelation comes in basically you can either leave engaged to the person you come with leave uh, single or leave with a new partner. The partner that you spent three weeks what, with. Getting... And loads of them, they actually fall in love in the three weeks, or they say they do. Well, they, they leave they with a new partner, but they're not engaged to that person. That's why they leave with them, because that's not a commitment. No, maybe they do have to be engaged to them, I can't remember. I haven't got that far yet. It's not all being released. They're releasing it so slowly. They're drip feeding it to um... me and I need more. I don't know, I haven't seen the end. Maybe most of them all realize they do actually love and want their partner. Like, this is the thing. Sometimes the ultimatum giver then kind of gets a bit of a like taste of the good life, like how they might um... be treated in a different relationship and then the person who was given the ultimatum was like, whoa, oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go anywhere. Because they've been taken for granted or like whatever. It's just so good. Good. I've been watching. It's slightly more highbrow. Not hard. It's called The Surgeon's Cut. But I'm inhaling this. Why is it so good? It's isn't it? Mm. Wow. Do they put crack cocaine in their coffee? I just think it's so cold. Okay, so each episode is about a surgeon who is like at the absolute top of his or her. Pinnacle. Pinnacle. Of the career. Exactly. The pinnacle of their medical career. And they are honestly remarkable remarkable people. It's all there. How would you know that? She sits in that window and revises. It's hilarious. It's Sunday. It's no rest for the wicked. Her exam's on Tuesday. She best be sat in that window revising. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have something to say about it. Holly! No, I don't think there. she's there. Oh my god, slacker. slacker. Caught in the act. Get back abandoned. to it! The first episode is about this Cypriot surgeon who basically invented fetal medicine. What is fetal medicine? But if you're performing an operation surgery on a baby that has not yet been born, <gasps> that's called fetal medicine. It is... God, no, babe. It is so amazing. Inside the womb! inside the womb. He basically created the field of fetal medicine. And there's this thing called twin to twin transfusion. If you have twins, what can happen sometimes is that one twin gets bigger and like takes everything and then the small twin obviously would shrivel up and mm -hmm. die. So he basically created this procedure. It is honestly, it will blow your mind. He goes in with a needle. What is it on? On Netflix. No. He goes in, he literally puts a needle in and he can go into your womb and separate How the How pregnant are you? Like you can be however pregnant, doesn't matter. He literally goes in with a laser and separates the blood vessels while the babies are inside you. Before he was doing this, it was 90% death rate for twins, the twins that had twin, both twins. Now it's 90% survival. It's insane. And you see and the does whole he thing. train people in doing yeah, it too? Now, yeah, and also now he's got cancer. No! And it's like, what, what is that? Like this man is, has saved thousands of lives. It's amazing. In There's episode, no rhyme or reason to cancer, is there? Is it's there. savage. Then the second episode is about this Mexican brain surgeon who jumped the wall. Jumped, no! He jumped the wall. It's like, jumped the wall? He jumped the Mexican... Is that a game like show? 50, <laughs> jump, what wall? 50 years ago, he jumped the Mexican wall. And he went to work in like a labourer's field, because like for Mexican immigrants. And within five years, he was at Harvard Med School. And now he's one of the top brain surgeons in the world. It's amazing. Watch it. It will really blow your mind. But and then I thought, you know, the other day we were talking about, oh, what would you be? I thought, God, if I actually, actually would be a had the steel for it, it's I'll your tell you what, life. I don't have the steel for it. Do you know what happened the other day? I was away, so thank God I didn't see it. We've got these two 
two baby pigeons in that tree just there. We're just talking about heart surgeons and pigeons. No, well, is this there? is why I don't have the stomach for it. Listen to this and you're about to see it in a minute. So these two pigeons, I was away. As I say, my flatmate Holly has been revising sat in that window for weeks now. And there's this bird's nest, right? And this pigeon, she's watched them lay the eggs. Two, oh, two pigeons. No. She's watched them grow over two weeks. Yesterday, she texted me saying, I've just sobbed. And I thought, oh, she's just revisions getting a bit much. Two crows came and savaged the baby pigeons. One of them ate it just completely. The other one, head off. Head yeah. off? Just head off. This morning, the mum came back. Oh my God. Apparently pigeons mourn for like two weeks or something. It's really bad. And she had to kick him out the nest because there's not enough room. And the pigeon, where did it land? On our doorstep, the headless pigeon. And I couldn't stomach You're it, babe, and it lying. was a pigeon. So imagine me with a body is what I'm thinking. Blood and guts. And then a fox, I think, has come and taken it away. And now, look, can you see? <gasps> That's oh the remains. My God. Yeah. Feathers and intestines. No, babe, I'll tell you something more sad. When we were in Mexico, we had this really beautiful villa on the beach. And we, my, I was in such a mood. Don't know why I was in beautiful Mexico. Like, shut up. It happens. You know? My mum was like, oh, let's go for a walk down the beach. And I was like, no, no, no. Anyway, eventually we went. <laughs> and literally, probably three meters from the front of where our villa was, a baby turtle hatched right in front Amazing. of our eyes. About 100 turtles. Gorgeous. Um, no, and then. And they walk you have to, to help them, don't you? No, 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 you can't help them because they have to learn for themselves. Um, Just a little. And then what happened was, babe, they all got on the sea and they all got eaten by the girls. Straight Every away. single one of them. Probably four of a hundred survived. Listen, I work in the NH year and how those cameramen go out there and watch, it is savage, the natural Isn't world. Isn't it? We think we've got it hard. I know. No, no, oh, I know. Oh my goodness I me. I Try know. and be one of those birds that has to run off the cliff and fly. Suicide. Horrible. <laughs> It's awful. Oh, tell me about young blood. <laughs> okay. He is weird. I'm sorry. He is no, so No, I don't know him or his music. I only know him really from the Louis Theroux doc, which I know is really bad because oh, he's like one of the yeah, biggest yeah. artists like probably in the world at the moment. So I was with a friend. I didn't really know this about her, but we walked out of this coffee shop and she just started like kind of speaking to someone. I turned around and I was like, oh, that's young blood. Hilarious. She must know him. She works in the music industry. Anyway, to cut a long story short, she got a picture with him which was hilarious i was like oh she doesn't know him she's a fan she's so cool like as a person like i'm obsessed with her she's the coolest person i know she's talking to him and she's going oh it was so cool to meet you like keep doing what you're doing she's walking backwards i swear to god i've never seen someone fall like that in my life she tripped over air just thin air have you seen the joe biden thing recently <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like that but backwards she bounced she got air through her coffee in front of like arguably her favorite artist oh i would actually die no no no, no, no. She she literally walked around the corner. She, he was like, oh, I didn't know what she was. I was like, ah, oh, should we get another coffee? Like, horrible. He was like, he helped her up. It was really sweet. She was like, no, I just need to go. Oh I'm God, just I would die. So she literally said, that. I just need to go and Give die. Shania Twain. Yeah. Oh, that is, okay. What or like meeting Beyonce and like just falling. <laughs> but then she was, I said, I, we did yeah, not stop laughing. You. I laughed. Yeah. Next time you see him, wherever you are, you can I go, remember me. The foul that over nothing. Outside, whatever. And yeah. he'll know. He'll be like, I remember. That's good. I agree that. Good. But how mortifying. Because also oh, I was thinking, like, I haven't done anything like that that's like... Are you watching that guy walk? Yeah, I Is he what? walking like that? Saw shoes. Dun, dun, dun. Skinny legs. You know that's, like, really mortifying? <laughs> like, something that, like, happens I didn't in public. Like, I falling did. over in public is so... My mum does it a lot, actually. Oh, my God, I'll never forget when once we were running through the airport because we were so late to check in. <laughs> and she just... Stacked it. Stacked it. Oh, no. uh, me and my dad fully just walked no, away. No, no. We couldn't we, even go. In lockdown, my stepdad had prostate cancer. No. He went to surgery. We were like the depth of lockdown and we were only, it was all really straight. Anyway, were we even allowed to visit him? Well, we, yeah, I don't know why, but we shouldn't have really been. Anyway, we're in the hospital. We're waiting for his surgery. Sorry, sidebar is that one of my friends actually went out with two guys that had two plastic, one boyfriend after the other had a plastic ball each. Wow. How weird is that? What that feels just like. like they make like it like silicon. No, it's like a ping pong. Oh. Hard. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, we were in the we were in the <laughs> hospital and we'd ordered Wagamamas and like this is like a pristine, really high end, secure, like hygienic area. Like there are cancer patients here. Anyway, of course we oh, get the Wagamama and the bag just gave way. Katsu curry. Everywhere. No, 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 not the no, katsu no. curry. Uh, everywhere. What's More that? Trying. What's that soup? The soup Miso noodles. Soup. Yeah, every no. no, no babe. Lockdown. 
at me, but everyone's wearing like <laughs> all the PPE, suits. all the smell. No, no, babe. Babe, it was bad. It was really bad. Who cleaned but it up? But to be honest, I wasn't in front of a famous person. We did. Oh, my mum as well. My mum is insane. Like she everywhere. Mortified. No, but everywhere we go. <laughs> no, did she go? Ever, she, my mum never gets mortified. Out of her gloves, she pulls marigolds on my <laughs> life. Marigolds, plastic gloves, a plastic bin bag. No. Just happened to have it in her bag, and she was like, "That's why you've always got to be prepared." Wet wipes. <laughs> She's insane. She is insane. A mop. A hoover. <laughs> that is quite a low. I that would say. is, I said, I was like, I don't think I've ever done anything no, like I that. Didn't. I mean, there are things that I, you know, sometimes when you say love you instead of bye to your boss. Or like you call your teacher mum <laughs> instead of miss. <laughs> mum? No, oh said. my god, I have the best story on the planet. Sorry, this is why. I... Oh, side note again. Tina Turner. I know. <laughs> you cannot text and speak, can you? I can't do two things at once. You are a boy. You are. Cue me up again. Tina Turner. Died. Sad. What a legacy though, like what a like, life to live behind. Go and oh, see it babe, now. you know I was trying to buy you Shania Twain tickets for your birthday, but it's the same day that we're going to... Are you on crack? How much are they? No, but we're going to sit in the heavens. Sure. But... Um... <laughs> in the garden! <laughs> Can you imagine? <gasps> do, no, do, 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 do. <laughs> She'd hear us from the stage. Also, I was thinking, you should really be a Taylor Swift super fan, but you're not. She's not country. Are you joking? She's pop country. That's still country. Shania Twain is pop country. No, listen, I actually don't. She started saying listen as well. I haven't, I. <laughs> oh. Stop licking my lips, though. You best believe that. My goodness me. <laughs> I feel like Taylor Swift, Yeah. normally you love or hate, I'm a bit on the fence. I actually agree. I can I'm, take I, or leave it, but I, I think most so people either love or hate. People are calling her, like comparing her to the Beatles. I'm also so jealous of people at Beyonce. Like it's actually making me want to I cry. was literally going to say, do we tell them all to stop or are we glad that we're able to see it or via we them? we just get last minute tickets? How much do you think we're talking? 70 quid. For the heavens. I would sit in the heavens to say you saw Beyonce. Maybe we should do it. No, then... babe, honestly, it's making me want to cry. Okay, but actually, look, have you looked? Yeah, I looked. The 70 other quid? Then I thought, what, what are they, a bit dodgy second hand? I mean, babe, we can or... go today. 4th of June, is it today? It's the 4th. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, today. Let's see what how much they are. I'm just interested to know. We're late. It's four o'clock. Do you want late. to be seated together? No. <laughs> yes, ideally. Babe, this is now. It's at five o'clock. I just want to see. Pick a day that's not a weekend. Like well, no, we can't. Thursday. She leaves London. We've missed it. What? No, we've missed it. It's today or never. Oh, I just feel sad. I really feel sad. But you know what I, I think? I have seen her before. Have you? Yeah. I'm more fussed about Rihanna, actually. It's probably if like Rihanna six did years the tour, ago. If Rihanna did a tour, I'd pay 250 quid to see Rihanna. Would you? Yeah. The you other day. You need to see the playlist first the set list. What if she didn't do Ponder Replay? Then, then you'd I want your money go, back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Umbrella didn't pay, I'd be like, listen, I love the new stuff, really. No. But Jesus. No, I love the old stuff. Of course. Sure. No, I wanted to tell you a story. Go on, man. So my friend, no, this is... Oh, you can go to Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Cardiff? Cardiff. Babe, do you know how far away Cardiff is? He's still on water. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Tell me a story then. Paul watched that and was like, you two, honestly, if you told me <laughs> you were on a day off at <laughs> mental hospital, I would believe it. <laughs> We're actually mad. Oh, yeah. Do you know what's even madder? So I watched one of our videos today on a 1.75 speed <laughs> so I could like get through it because I had things to do. And we are mad. 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 The Without one. the pauses. I yeah. Know, yeah. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> my friend. Tell me a story. My friend. Mm. You're just one of those people that has so many. Like I wouldn't even be able to name this friend. She's constantly like, no, you, so my friend. You wouldn't even know this person. No, my friend. My are friend. they actually your friend? Yeah, like peripheral. <laughs> On the outer echelon. Yeah, she's not in the core crew. Yeah. Good. She used to go out with this guy. His best friend and her, during their, their relationship, became very good friends. Dodgy. He then dumped her. The boyfriend dumped her. Made this big song and dance about it. She was really distraught, but she stayed friends with the with the friend. Long story short, she's now going out with the best friend. Of course. The boy's brother, so the ex-boyfriend's older brother, yep. sent her a message being like, I think you are scum of the earth. You are the biggest social climber I've ever met in my life. You're a disgusting person. Person. You only care about titles. The only way that you're ever going to get a title oh is by... Oh my gosh, get a job. Is by, why, why do you have the time? Is by buying one online. <laughs> a social so, site, so did she buy one? For him. Okay. So she was like, she just replied <laughs> to his message and was like, you're literally just the worst person I've ever met. Blocked him and then bought him a title online, sent Stop. it to his house for like 20 quid. Hilarious. Oh, also, this boy is 30 years old. That, but the boy that sent that message no, is No, that's what I just think, get a hobby. Like, I really just think, find something else for the time with. 
than hating other people. I think it's just so I agree, sad. I agree. I would what a waste never. of life. Unless it was like more cheated on you, then I would spend the rest of my life hounding and abusing him. No, I wouldn't. Ghostbusters! Do you know what I was thinking the other day? Because I was listening to GB, GK, I always call her GBK, GK <laughs> Barry, her podcast Saving Grace. She had her manager on and they were talking about like overexposure and the importance of like saying no to things. And obviously that, that is so true. Relevant for us career wise, but also just in life. That's like, so true. You can say no and like it's okay. You know, like people panic, like you might get a job offer and you're like, oh, yeah. it's not quite right, but yeah. I should take it. Yeah. Say no, like be brave, I think, and just like hold your nerve. No, actually, I was watching this thing that was like, until you get an, an offer or a thing or you find a job that honestly sets your heart on fire, mm. then don't do it. Because it's just no, there's no point. Sorry, go compare it a good example. Philip Schofield, I'm sh for sure Go Compare does not set his heart on fire. Why would you do that? And what I money do you need? And I think that actually tarnishes his brand a bit because it's like, well, he'll just do any old advert that comes his exactly. way. Exactly. Got to be serious about that. You can't mess with anything off brand. That's why you won't see any tox in this forehead. That was a dig. Anyway, if you're never having a bad day, it will never be worse than my pictures going on. <laughs> that is true. I'm a sorry. That... World Wide Web website where people actually visit. Let's just pause and then I'll just put a picture here. And just think, if you're watching this and you're having a horrible day, it's not as bad as this. It could be worse. You should see the people I'm up against. Oh no. Athletes and models. Oh, and then there's me. Oh no. Babe, you're an athlete and a model. Not in that picture, well, I'm not. Yeah, that picture. <laughs> having a bad day. And it all just right. got sprung upon me a bit quickly. And then I didn't I really didn't realize. Really yeah, and I wasn't, well, even like. So she's she's fine. Yeah, push ups in. Pop yeah, them up. yeah. Great so Yeah, yeah. But, um. Chug it down the protein we shake. We just went out and they and I went first. We didn't have time to like take my top off or like rearrange my leggings or like do my hair. Like it was horrible. Why did they do that? It was awful and you know it shows. Fine, fine. It, don't worry about they it. Fine. Anything else world. to tell me? Nope, that's it. Thanks. Great. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>